Are claims review committee disability awards really final and binding in BC? Chances are, if you're going to have a claims review committee hearing to determine whether or not you're entitled to long-term disability benefits, you would hope that the award would be final and binding. I was permanently disabled from my career as a nurse in BC and awarded disability benefits, which my collective agreement said were final and binding. The Labor Relations Board even states, the decision or award of an arbitration board under this code is final and conclusive and is not open to question or review in a court on any grounds whatsoever, and proceedings by or before an arbitration board must not be restrained by injunction, prohibition, or other processes in a court and are not removable. My disability benefits were terminated unjustly and without cause, leaving me with only my Canada disability pension of $800 per month to live on. I took my grievance all the way to the Supreme Court of BC, only to find that labor law has corrupted the rights of the judges to hear and rule on disability disputes. So go to deny disability and discover that there is no such thing as final and binding disability benefits in BC. Even my BC Supreme Court judge said so. Everything at denydisability.ca was presented in sworn affidavit form before the BC Supreme Court, and the court ruled there was no fraud in my petition. It is just the disturbing truth about living and working in BC as a nurse. And what happens when disability strikes, and you have to deal with the corruption and misrepresentation hidden inside your collective agreement and long-term disability insurance plan? Thank you.